Bow your heads. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, lead us. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray. Father, we just want to come to you right now to say thank you for another day. Um, God, there were so many people that made plans for today, Lord, that didn't reach today. There are so many people who left their homes today with every intention on making it back, but didn't. Um, Father, and that's because this life throws all types of twists and turns, God, and we never know when our final moments are, oh God, but you kept us blessed and safe enough to make it back home again. You know, Father, despite what's going on in life, despite what we don't have, what we might have, Lord, just the gift of being safe. Allow us to show gratitude for that more often, oh God. Right now, Lord, we want to thank you for blessing us with another blessed and safe day. No, no, nothing too bad to overpower us happened today. Today could have came with a few little hiccups, but for the most part, God, we're just blessed. At the end of the day, God, we're just blessed and we want to say thank you for keeping us safe and protected, Lord. And we pray that over our friends and family members as well, that you can return them home safely. Um, God, while we're on the point of just talking about how things in this life are unexpected, Lord, we just pray that you can allow us to cherish our lives more. Oh, God, in this life, Lord, we oftentimes allow ourselves to live life by what's in front of us. We live our lives based on how things are going in a moment. But Father, that's not how you tell us to live because that's not how you see things. Father, you are outside of space and time. So you are the creator of time. You are the creator of space and you see it in its full essence. And you know the beautiful works that you have created and seen in their fulfillment. And God, that is why you tell us to just live in love and live in joy and live in peace and live fruitfully because you know that in everything, it's all working for the good of your children and for the good of those who love you, oh God. And Father, we want to say thank you for that. But Lord, not only do we want to say thank you for that, but God, we are asking for the strength. Father, allow me and my brothers and sisters to not live our lives based on what our current situation is. Allow us to always place our lives and our livelihood in Jesus. Yes, in Jesus Christ. So in the moments where everything is going great for us, where everything's coming our way, allow us not to get prideful and egotistical or to become ungrateful for the things that we have been blessed in abundance with, O oh Lord. And Father, when we are in those seasons of feeling depleted, feeling lost, feeling empty, feeling like nothing is going right, Father, allow us not to get too down. Allow us not to get too stressed and depressed, but allow us to keep our faith in Jesus. Because if we keep our faith in Jesus, no matter the circumstance, we're good. Father, that is why you have told us to focus on your son no matter what we go through. Your son is the cure to every single problem. Every problem can be cured with the medicine of Jesus, with the love of Jesus, with the coverage of Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you for giving us the greatest healer of all time in your son. Your son didn't just heal us of all of our sins, but he healed us of all of our pains. He healed us of all of our confusion. He is the answer for everything. He healed us in every single aspect that healing could heal. So right now we want to say thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. We want to say thank you, Jesus, for rescuing us, even in the era of our ways, even in all of our imperfectness. You knew every sin we were going to commit. Yet you still got up on that cross. You knew how far away this nation would be away from you. You knew, God, how people would disrespect you. You knew, God, how people were going to turn away from you. Yet you still. <sighs> Jesus, you still, Jesus, you still got up on that cross. And made yourself a sin offering for us in your perfection. You took the pain so that we didn't have to. You paved the way for us to live forever through your Holy Spirit that you left with us after you ascended back to the heavenly kingdom. And you left to the heavenly kingdom to prepare room for us. God, your love is like no other. Your mercy is like no other. And it's for some people that are sinners that don't deserve it. God, we say thank you right now because the best thing about you, God, is that you never had to. You never had to make us. You never had to forgive us. You never had to give us new grace. You never had to give us purpose. You never had to give us your son. But you did. And God, all we can be is grateful, Father. But allow us not to just express, express our gratefulness in the things that come out of our mouth. That's what too many people do, oh God. Allow us to express our gratefulness in the way we live. 
allow us to 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 show that we are grateful for Jesus in the way we live, living for him, not just saying we're grateful for what he did, but living for him because of what he did. Oh, God. In whatever ways we're weak, right now we ask for the strength. Right now I speak spiritual deposits of strength, of wisdom, of knowledge, of guidance into my brothers and sisters. In whatever ways we are still partaking in ways of the world, right now I cast that out of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever corrupt and evil desires are in our hearts, Lord, right now we speak them out of us. We shine them in your light. We confess our sins, oh God, whatever they are. And Lord, we ask for forgiveness, but not only do we ask for forgiveness, God, we ask for change. We don't want to just apologize for our sins. No, we want to stop doing them, God, because we love you above the world. We love you above our flesh. We love you above ourselves. Jesus, you are first in everything, oh God. But Lord, we ask that you make our hearts that way. We are crying out, God. We need you above anything above money above relationships above material things above every single thing we need you god psalms 23 the lord is my shepherd i lack nothing lord we lack nothing with you give us more of you in whatever ways we are living in this life that are pulling us away from receiving the full enlightenment of god remove those things oh lord take control Take the wheel. Take over, God. We need you. This world is corrupt. This world is evil. It has gotten away from you, Father. Do not give us over to the world. Do not give us over to our sinful desires. Do not let us blend in with this world, but, Father, pull us out so that we can shine among this sinful nation like stars as you foretold and prophesied, O oh Lord. We want to be like your son, but, God, we need the strength. And we thank you in advance for the deliverance. Yes, Lord. We thank you in advance for the guidance. We thank you in advance for the wisdom. Because we speak as if we already have. Because we speak with faith. That we serve a big God that will get it done. Lord, give us that Abraham faith, oh God. Give us that Isaac faith, oh God. Give us that Joseph faith, oh God. God, we need you. We love you. We honor you. And we praise you. And we pray that you cover us in our sleep tonight. Or for my brothers and sisters across the waters, I pray that you cover their days. And as a matter of fact, Lord, we just pray that you cover our lives and you don't leave us. No matter what we lack, if we got God, we're good. We can lose it all. Do we get to keep Jesus? If so, we're good. And that's enough. Father, allow your son to be enough for us. And he is. He's more than enough. Our cup overflows. Thank you, Lord, for everything you're doing and everything you've done. Thank you for being who you are, God. You are great. You are good. There is none like you. Nothing can compare. God, you are the greatest. Your name will be exalted for the rest of eternity. Yes, Lord. And we speak this whole prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. Y'all have a blessed night. Put God first. Love God first. Seek God first in everything you do. May y'all have a blessed night. Jesus loves you. Good night.